Hi guys, so yesterday I posted on my story that I was going to try something new today. Um, yesterday I made some frames, I cut up some scrap pieces of board. I created frames, like six frames, for some paintings that I plan to do. And I wrapped them with the canvas and then I prepped them. I gave them like two coats of white paint and let them dry overnight, right? So the new thing that I'm going to try today is called is a new technique it's called Dutch pour um, you have some people who use they do like I wouldn't say a complicated method but they do it the correct correct way by using all the right materials like resin and some other stuff I don't remember right now um, but today I'm just gonna be using paint acrylic paint um, spray paint glitter and yeah that's pretty much it those are all the things I'm gonna be using so I have I'm going to test 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 it on this like guys I'm very excited because I've been seeing this being done for a while and I thought that it looked cool but I never really thought of um, trying it until yesterday I just did a brief research and I found that it was pretty simple and I'm that type of person, I like to see, see things and then try them on my own. And I keep trying, I keep trying if I don't get it the first time. But I have a strong feeling that I'm going to get it done the first time. Right? Because I'm just excited whenever it's anything to do with art, right? I guess so, so before this is the canvas that I'm, I'll be using. This is black paint, white paint, some cut bottles to mix the paint in water construction cord and the different paints these are spray paints i'm going to be doing a lot of mixing and i have some down there too some different colors and i have the blow dryer i forgot to mention that because it's the blow dryer i'll be using to like blow the stuff blow the paint Alright, so I did the first try. I don't necessarily like it because I think my color choice was crappy. Let it drip. It's dripping on my dog. He should get dripped on. Okay, so that was the first one. I'm going to put it to dry and I think I'm going to try just a strictly black and white one because it's always safe to go black and white. But I'm going to keep practicing because I actually have six canvases. This is one, so I have five left. So, yeah, I'm going to try black and white for now. Okay? And I'll, I'll show you guys, of course. I'm going to mix the paints, the black and the white. I'm Hopefully, I'm going to make them a little bit thicker. I have a lot of black, but I don't have a lot of white. I'm going to buy more white paint tomorrow. So, I'm going to mix them a little thicker and more in quantity. And then I'm going to test those out. Alright, so y'all saw this one it turned out much better than the first one and i'm very pleased with the results um like i said black and white it's always good to go black and white like you're always safe so i think i'm gonna do one of the bigger sizes that i have in the black and white too and then i'm gonna keep i think i want to mix red and yellow with the ones that i have coming a lot along with some purple and brown I think those hues go together and then I'm gonna show you guys the results of everything but yeah this technique is called Dutch pour you basically mix paints and then you pour them onto the surface and then 
use the good old blow dryer and blow them to get a different I don't know it's not really a pattern because nothing is really repeated but you get a simple unique design every time the the air pockets and all of that create cells it's like like how you know cells look inside of a plant or something and so yeah this is pretty I'm gonna keep on doing what they're doing spammy <laughs> get it no okay I mean if your hands don't look like this when you're doing art are you really doing anything but I love when I'm doing these things and I get messy cuz I just love it I just love it but you said I love mess so <laughs> I really can't remember the blue beer made it like this my first time trying Dutch pour I can say I'm very pleased with myself um, I'll keep practicing and keep posting the results yeah on my personal page by the way and I'll also be posting this on my business and on my art page guys thank you for all those who have been following my art page that's shaymac.art and I may post the Dutch pour pieces on my business page that's mc.mccoycreatives if you haven't yet followed me please Go and do so. Thank you in advance. Thank you in advance. Well there. So yeah, thank you for all the love and support. Those who message me saying, oh, they're looking forward to see me post these. I hope you watch them and I hope you like them. Send me a DM, okay, with your thoughts. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, hopefully I can come with more of these videos. Uh, hopefully hopefully because i'm a very busy woman okay so i'm gonna keep on trying and i'll show you guys the results hopefully i can show you guys all of what i've done today at the end of this or i'll post a photo on my story to show you guys so yeah bye personality <laughs> I'm always like this by the way unless I'm pissed off at somebody but this is my personality I'm very I'm very quirky I'm very random I'm very spontaneous and very wild and very but I'm serious when I need to be serious okay and I think I'll forever be like this